So I suppose as we end the year, let's quickly talk about Box Office and Avatar The Way of Water. Some of you said, hey, why'd you stop talking about it? And I just kind of, um, you know, the holidays and everything, everything just kind of happened. So here we go. The third weekend is here. So let's talk about what it's done so far and the outlook for the future of the film and where it might end up. So the good news is heading into its third weekend, Avatar has actually seen a major increase Friday over Friday. Last Friday, it made an estimated 27% less than what it made this Friday, because this one, it came in just under 25 million. And going into this weekend, for its three-day forecast, it's estimated to make 7% more and its total four day is estimated to be somewhere around 87 million. So a seven to 10% increase depending on what's gonna happen. Now, of course, this has officially placed the film over 1 billion, as I talked about just recently in another video. And right now it's sitting at 1.13 billion, meaning 1.2 billion will be passed more than likely by the end of Monday, according to all accounts. And so far, there are some predictions that this might be the biggest film of the year. And it's mainly going to come down to international, because in the United States, it's honestly doing slower than expected. But again, this year, in the past year, Top Gun Maverick really dominated the domestic box office and pulled off quite a victory, which again, isn't really surprising. It's Top Gun. A lot of people have been waiting for a sequel to that for decades. It came in, it delivered exactly what people wanted, a straight up sequel, no, no nothing outside the norm. So it makes sense. And again, looking at Avatar, The Way of Water, with this weekend and what's gonna happen, most people are expecting that by Monday, it's more than likely going to have uh, outpaced Wakanda Forever in the United States and already passed uh, some other films. So it's looking like it's on a pretty good trajectory towards at least $1.5 by the end of its box office run. Some are saying that might be a low estimate. Some are saying it could honestly be where it tops off. Again, we won't know, but... I've learned one thing about this film that I think everybody should realize now is that a lot of people underestimated it. There was a lot of people betting this thing wouldn't even hit a billion dollars in its entire run because no memes, no cultural impact, nobody talks about it because my friend doesn't like it or whatever. Again, circumstantial, whatever circle you hang out in, whatever you talk about, it all depends. I've said it before. I've never seen a single person I know that's seen Top Gun. I haven't seen it because it's not a Tom Cruise franchise I love. To me, it's Mission Impossible. I, you know, I religiously watch those films. I love them so much. So it's kind of that thing. It's like a little of a bubble effect. I guess we'll see what ends up happening with Avatar when the weekend is all said and done. And I promised I'll make more updates on it and talk more about the sequel and what I think's happening. But overall, Disney's gonna be happy with this. It's uh, pushing Disney to be the top uh, studio in Hollywood for 2022.